how's it going well here we are back in the den I'm still working on the ship as you can see hmm and there's bits of this stuff everywhere already as you can tell so yesterday I left you with the sides there well I've carried that theme on around the back there so that give you an idea yeah makes sense that how's that looking good huh well you know it's getting there so And I've still got a few little bits of matchstick left over, which I'm going to use for other stuff. So I won't throw them away. Because I don't like throwing anything away if I can help it. Except stuff I can't reach that's on the floor. And I can get swept up and put in the fire later. So yeah, there we go. So, staying with my theme. this I've got to admit has been perfect for cutting stuff on to um, stop it flicking everywhere and it will make an excellent sale later which is even better so yeah there we go hello good afternoon it's been a glorious day again. It's typical, wouldn't you say? Stuck indoors, glorious day. Goes without saying, really. Um, so yeah, so I've got to a stage where um, I think I'm um, I'm ready to put my masts back on that I cut off willy nilly earlier on. So yeah, my plan is. It's mast time. So, now before I put square masts on, because I didn't find any round bar, but now I've found some round bar. Some round skewers. I'm going to glue my round skewers in place. Like this. I'm going to put one there. I didn't cut these right the way down to the base. I'll cut them down a bit. And left a bit um, proud so when it came to gluing these fellas on oh I've got a moment yeah yeah, yeah just so. so when it came to gluing these fellas on at least I can roughly get them. And they've got something to go against them. Look at that straight. Oh, they're straight. A blind man would love to see it. So, there you go. So, there you go. There's my two masts. I've bunged them up. I bunged them up. Just like that. Now, my picture, which I had. Well, you can see, <laughs> yeah, um, gives me a rough idea of where the masts and how the masts sit. Um, and they are really rough now. Um, I can see this being uh, a bit difficult to, um, to read that rigging quite well, but well, we'll we'll do what we can. So yeah. So anyway, here we go. We have our basic ship shape. Ship shape. <laughs> so yeah, we have a basic ship shape. Um, I've put my masts on. Um, in a bit, I'm going to um, be looking at how I'm going to rig them. I'm not going to do that till I've painted it because, well, you know, one thing I am going to put on here 
Here's a capstan because they come in handy later on when I'm putting on the ropes. Now capstan is basically a rotating drum on the deck um, that you put a rope round and you can get a number of men round that can wind that rope in. It's called a capstan. I believe. And I am going to go along the lines of a little round thing. Could be anything, pen top, anything. But this I've managed to find a little bit of a balsa wood um, sitting in my knickknack drawer. I'm going to use that. But you can use anything. Um, similar and I'm just going to choose a spot for the capstan and basically it's a spot where you can get a few people around it I've put my capstan there it's probably not the best place for a capstan but this one's getting it there <laughs> I think it's a good place for a capstan and I'm going to use one of those um, if you remember before the little caps that come off of or you use for um, come on Jeff you had it it was in your head a minute ago that cover screws the Phillips screw heads that you drill in walls and you put the little caps on to hide the screw no, I'm using one of them as the top, it's my capstan head. Um, and because, of course, the capstan I'm not even going to put any capstan arms on it, I'm just going to leave it as a blank capstan. The capstan arms normally were rods that were slotted in to. Uh, facilitate so that they weren't always in and didn't always get in and didn't get in the way of others or whatever so what I'm going to do is top the capstan off like this that makes it too high do you know what I am going to cut my bit of um thingy bobby doing a bit because in order for my two tops to go together I'm going to need to file that down and cut that off so I did have a scalpel there she is Laura she blows need something to rub my scalpel against it's a shot eh? And I've seen these beautiful, beautiful little diamond sharpness that a lot of um, crafters use, which is lovely, but I ain't got one. So I'm not going to use one. That was that and it popped straight into the box. But we have a dick next. That's cool, isn't it? Didn't quite lose it, which is good. So yeah, I've cut that down. And then I'm going to get a little file. When things get this small they get fiddly, believe me. But hey, give it a little file. That's it, that lovely. Is it a bit flatter? I'll get the other side a little file because it's in the way. Yeah, 
and the other one I'm just going to cut flush. So when I glue that to that, we'll give like a gap. Um, that will give me the impression of somewhere to stick poles. Of course, you can do research for this, and you don't have to be as accurate as I'm trying to be, even though none of it really is accurate at all. I'm just Having fun with it, you know. That's all that matters. That you have some fun with it. Because at the end of the day, that's all we're trying to do is break up the boredom, as they say. So yeah. So there we go. Oh, there we go. I basically made a little mushroom. See? Yeah. Stick that on the deck. Never heard it before. Must have liked it there. Now and then. See? Job done. Yeah. Now I want to make some of the outside a bit better. Because, you know. Quite blank and flat, where I've uh, sort of reshaped it using larger pieces. So, with that in mind, my plan is to make it pretty round the sides, and that's my plan. So, that's more than ever bash doing using me lolly sticks and me sticks and me stuff and me stuff. So, what I'm gonna do is put a look at the back of that tube on the side yeah. so yeah roughly the back of my ship we'll do it from the back i think first and we'll build it up from there and that needs to be slightly bent like that in order to go where i want it to go in order to bend it like that, I'm going to have to glue it in place and hold it for a long while, believe me. Um, I don't know, it'll give us a chance to talk, won't it? It'll give me a chance to talk. I never get tired of my voice. You might do, but it's alright, because you can fast forward it, or pause it, or turn it off. But yeah, this is my plan. To make it... Mm. That's a bit thick actually for doing this type of thing. I wonder. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to bend a piece of the bamboo to help me put it. Hmm. Scratch myself there. Don't know how I've done it, but I did. Right, so anyway. I'll do a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever bit me. It's gone down. Probably crawled off to die. Sorry. So, got myself a bit of a spark that's bent a little better than it was. And then I'm going to try and to glue that on there. Um, Yeah, you can bend this wood, you know, um, and it'll work to a certain extent, to a certain degree, without splitting, which is nice. It's the bamboo stuff, bamboo square stuff I'm talking about, yeah, the square skewers. Um, but you could do the same with the others. Do you know what, a bit of water doesn't go amiss on this. I haven't got any out here because I didn't bring a cup of tea out with me today, but there you go. So I am literally relying on the fact that bamboo is really uh, good for bending. Um, and this is going to take a lot to keep in place, I know. But we're going to start. 
there. And hold it. And then we shall, if we're clever, behind me. While I'm doing this, I am going to try and smooth out some of that. That's it. All the bottom there. That's it. And then do the same at the top. So we now put it a bit smarter. I'll hold it and we'll see what happens. We'll see if it'll stay, won't we? We can see the bottom of my dirt. Looks rough, doesn't it? That's right. I'm not bothered. Are you bothered? I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. It'll all look lovely and the pre when it's all done, where I need it, and done and dusted. There's the first spar on the back of the boat. In the design for the back of the boat, that is. And so, put the first one on there. It's a bit proud, so hopefully, without buggering it, I can snip it off. Oh, okay, yeah, look at that. That's better. Just snip that off in place. <clears throat> Let me see if I can bend this one. Of course, the longer your stick is, the easier it is to bend. It doesn't help me bending stick. I don't want because. It'll need bent stuff somewhere else, I'm sure. So I need it cutting off of that there. As I said before, a lot of it's just guesswork. You know, you get... Oh! I went to split it. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. So we'll take that one away. If I can help it, I don't want it to split. Because if it splits, then it doesn't leave a nice finish at the end. Although I'm still trying to split to bend it in shape. Oh, that's warm on the old fingertips. Oh, we can take it. Oh, cherry. Yeah, we can take it. And then... And we hold it. Right. Now, if you've made yourself a good enough job of putting all the strengthening pieces in and all the strats in and everything else you can put quite a bit of pressure on it because it's holding together quite nicely as you see I'm bending this piece of wood around the back of the boat surely across the tensile strength of the rest of the boat which you've put together in little bits Surprised how robust this thing is. Oops. 
sometimes you need to add a little to get a little push one side down, the other side these eyes wants to pop up, so here we go. We attach some gunk there and push. And then all this we're just gonna use the edge of the I pinch this one off and misses this uh, glue gun because it's a crafter's glue gun. Um, and I ended up getting a one that you could turn on and off via a button on the side off of eBay in swap because she doesn't use it quite the way I do and I tend to use and abuse them until they fall apart, die, melt, catch fire. Well. That's another story in itself. But yeah. Um, so yeah. I like to use a tool prop. Whether it's using it properly or not is a different thing altogether, but I do tend to use the tool and abuse the tool to get my desired effect. Um, but yeah, there you go. So, then the two runners, pretty good. I think it looks pretty. Get in there. Yeah. And then, of course, we shall add the outsides to it, which will be. side Again, I'm, uh, there's no precise measurements here. It's all organic. Because uh, I've said before, I prefer my rubbish to grow organically. And you know, organic is quite effective. I get it right. Pretty. Getting there, as they say. Um, and what I shall do is then. You know what? I think I'm going to take that feather off because I don't like the way it's sitting. I think that's sitting a bit proud and it needs trimming before I put it in. Try again with the old blue gun. One more you go. Okay. I want it slightly proud both sides, see, because obviously I want to take spars down the either, either end, either side to uh, 
pretty flat as it were. Now, if I take you there, give myself that bolt there, that'd be nice. That works for me. Oh, yeah, very much so. So, taking one of these long coffee things because they seem to be just about the right size. All I need and putting it in place like so. Just give a kind of stair board there. Yeah. Nice. Got a little kink in this one, which is works to my favour. Yeah. This one too is kinked but not quite as bad. So I might have to give it a yeah that bit. And then we'll pop to the other side and we'll have a look and we'll see. Um, yeah, that'll do the same there. Just nicely. So without further ado. said totally organically grown oh. now this one this one being a bit of a first that a minute to press thing just a minute to press thing Proof will be in the button. Money spider bugger off. But 
they're not ready for passengers yet. And if you stay on here, you'll get painted into it. So. Sometimes it's good to have wood under pressure, under tension. And sometimes, not so good. But we do what we do. and a lot of this outside furniture is just to tidy it up so I'm not too worried if there are a little few little gaps because we can hide them with paint and glue oh, good catch Jeff good catch we can hide them with paint and glue can't we yeah so Pieces in place. Keep them in place. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Did argue with me. Just do it. So, what was I using? Oh, yeah, a piece of that. I almost got a crack in it. I don't need it bent so much this time. That won't do. Which will go from there to there, roughly. Makes me think you're a bit high. So, I'm not sure I can cut you off clean, but we're going to try it. Oh, that's better. Let's give that. perfect or exit but you know near as damn it near as damn it Janet yeah and that one is a little tall too so I think actually being that tall is deferential to your character so right don't need that bit you can go back with a little glue, we wash it there. Lovely, jolly. Oh yeah, wash it there. So my piece of nano 
good for them. You need to be fed up for there. Yeah. Off they about there. And we shall see where we go from there. And we'll do it there. And we'll go. And we'll take that away. Done. That's it. That's all good to there. And we'll see what happens, shall we? See how pretty it looks. The other side's a little wider, but I think biggest cup juices, and this is the way it is. So, so that's what I've done. Um, and then I shall fill that area in with um, little cut off pieces, little matchstick. Actually, maybe I won't, maybe I'll just leave that because that looks. Quite all right, actually, just like that. Um, I wonder. Yeah. So we only actually need a couple of pieces in there, I think, just to make it appear like it has stays. What do you think? Looking pretty? I think it's looking pretty. So, just need to do something similar on the other side. But I think. I think we're going to have to cut them just a little bit more. Proud. This side. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe I fibbed. So I want to run that right. Let's have a look. Um, put a piece in. Drop the feather on. Snug him into place. Finally, I think just to finish it off, nice piece of fat to sit there. 
to finish it off. And we'll do that there. finish it off nicely. If I turn it around, I'll do something similar there. Because the stairs are a little closer this side than the other side, I've made myself a bit of a nightmare scenario right now. I need to remove a piece to put the piece in. So here we go. Where's that bit? And put that bit in. Now this side, we're going to cut it different. Realise it's too tall, take it off, burn my finger, come in. Oh, my fault was already there. Slot it back in, poke it with another stick. That works, I think. Yeah. And so, we're that far. We're that much forward. Not much more forward. What do you think? Looking pretty? Yeah? I shall drop a few into the back there. A couple of spars into the back now. I'm going to use the thicker stuff to do that. I won't bother with the matchsticks, I don't think. Um, or will I? I could actually just use you in the centre. Which would make life easier. Yeah, that just needs a, a nibble to finish it. Maybe a little nibble more. Oh yeah, that's good. That will finish that nicely. So, get in the centre there. Stick to me, stick to the job. Thank you. That helped. Not a lot. Right. Just to finish it off. Where the blob wants to fill the gap. Because there is a bit of a gap. And it needed a bit. Centre bus, centre spa, centre spa. Dangly bits of plenty, but still centre spa. As I said, you just got to have fun with it. 
Just go have fun with it. Let it grow. See what happens. And um, enjoy what you're doing. And no reason why you shouldn't. It does help if you cut them all off first off, but yeah, I'm a bit of a Said it's, it is, it's just a matter of having fun with it. Why not? And I'm not too worried about how messy it gets because obviously it'll all get cleaned up post production. Up with me sounding all professional. Um, yeah, it'll get cleaned up. get painted in that way. So that helps. I don't, as I said before, I like things that are organic. I like things that sort of take shape bit by bit. And this this is definitely doing that. Taking shape. Piece by piece. By piece. A bit closer, I think it might be a little further. Let's take this tape down. One more of that size, which is approximately there. And we'll trim a short to be safe, which is just about there. Actually. And Messing about. Yeah. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do a. Didn't do me in a spa bit. I can do that. I can do that at a later date. I'm going to do that when not offline. So. Let's move some rubbish. I bring this dead ring to the air. What do you think? It's looking alright, isn't it? Getting there. Slow bit sore, but it is definitely getting there. Yeah. There's my um boats coming together, don't you think? Yeah? Okay, so Yeah, and a quick boot, I think. See what we've got going on there. Yeah. Of course, you have that one, but you need. I wonder if I've got a couple more left. If not, we will go with a smaller spar. 
We shall give this one this. Yes, I have a couple of these. I do have a couple of these handy. These lolly sticks, these stirrers. Absolutely perfect for this type of job. It really is. Um, and I'm going to use them to finish off that, which is nice. Hold it, we should be all right. There we go. There. That's cool. Again, there was a gap, so I'm filling it. But yeah, that'll do. And that becomes, yeah. Again. It's an organic design, so it's an organic build, um, and it's loosely, loosely, loosely based around a. I'm trying to think what that is. Is it a sloop? Is it? No, it can't be a sloop. It's um. I think it's a fishing boat. Believe it or not. Oh, no, no, okay. I'm sure if a ship like this actually existed, it would have a name. It would have a class. I just don't know what class that would be. And this time I'm going to apply my glue directly to the board. Let's see where that takes me. Well, that side went on a lot better. And you know why? Because it's a lot straighter. But hey, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm really doing is tutoring it up. <laughs> Tudors like to put wood on the outside of buildings and have that showing. I'm doing the same with the boat and put the wood on the outside because it looks pretty as to the aesthetic but what do you think 
coming together, would you? Eh? So, anyway, we're coming up to the hour now, and to be quite honest, I haven't really chatted much about anything. Um, life indoors has been quiet. Um, And life out is just as quiet. Matter of fact, it seems like the whole world is bloody quiet at the minute, apart from the obvious. So, um, so anyway, I'll tell you what is nice. I think, I think we got some chicks born in our tree. Don't know whose chicks they are. They might be the ring neck doves that live in it or it might be the um, the crows that get up there and live in it or it might be the magpies although I'm sure if it's the magpies they've shoved that in the doves eggs um, but, um, but yeah it is quiet apart from the bird song. I know that I am enjoying the bird song out there. It's it's lovely. Um, it's lovely to hear. Um, now I've seen some odd looking birds. I'm not a twitcher, so I wouldn't know what the birds are, but I've seen some odd birds in the garden just recently. Um, I've heard some odd calls that I haven't heard before in the garden, which is nice. Um, so yeah, all in all, not bad, not bad at all. I've also seen quite a few butterflies in the garden, which is cool. And as I said, it's very quiet out there, well it is around our streets. So. Anyway, without further ado I suppose, it's been another day. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have. Um, be good to each other. Stay safe. Love you. Bye for now.